If you're running a Haas mill with a side mount tool changer, you're doing setups all the time. We're setting tools up, we're breaking them down. And when we do this, we often use the ATC forward and the ATC reverse buttons all day long with every setup. When we're putting tools in the machine, we might enter T1 ATC forward at the machine to put that tool in the spindle. And when we're removing tools, we'll do the same type of thing. When we wanna move from tool one to tool two in the spindle, if we were to just press ATC forward, what we're really gonna get is pocket forward. It's gonna move from whatever pocket we're on to whatever pocket is next. Uh, it's playing musical chairs with those pockets constantly every time we do a tool change. And that's a good thing. That saves us thousands of dollars in cycle time when we're running the machine. But when we're setting a machine up, we typically wanna move from tool one to two to three to four but we can change that behavior from pocket forward to tool forward using a new setting. If you have software version 100.20.000.1200 or newer, you can go to the settings page and search for setting 420. This setting is called ATC button behavior. We're gonna change it from conventional to enhanced. And now from MDI, if we press the ATC forward button, it's gonna move us from tool one to tool two, not to some random pocket. And if we're on tool two, press the ATC forward button, it's gonna move us from tool two to tool three. Kind of like the way we normally set up our machine. For a setup guy, I like that new behavior. It saves me a lot of button pushes having to enter in T1, T2, T3 before pressing the ATC forward and reverse buttons. This works in reverse as well. It'll move us from tool four to tool three if we press the ATC reverse button when setting 420 is turned on, when it is set to enhance. Now, if you have an older machine that does not have this software enhancement in it, that's okay. If you have the probe, you have the macros option, we can use macros to accomplish the exact same thing. From MDI, we're gonna enter M6, T, pound 30, 26 plus one. And this is kind of a cool macro variable. I use it all the time for different things. If we look it up in the manual, we'll find it right here, 30, 26 plus one. What we're really saying is whatever tool is in the spindle, if it's tool one, add one to that. So we're gonna do a tool change to tool two. It's just moving us to whatever the next tool is in line. I do this a lot when I'm doing setups or when I'm breaking down a setup. I just like being able to reach over, press the cycle start button and have it do what I'd like. Not only that, but there's actually a cool benefit to running this from MDI. I can also add a second line of code. I can add a G53 line of code. Uh, G53 is our, our machine home position. If I'm working on a larger machine, a VF3 or a VF11, uh, I like lowering the spindle when I'm putting tools in and out. When I do this from MDI, I can just press the button once, cycle start, and it's gonna automatically move to the next tool in line, lower the spindle for me. I can open the door, load or unload my tool, close the door, press cycle start, and move to the next tool in line. And it's gonna position that correctly. Now, some of us are lucky, we've got machines that were bought with the second home button. That's even better. You can just press a single button on the side of the console. It'll move the spindle down to wherever you'd like it, making it easier to put tools in and out. Well, thanks again for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day.